<laughs> right, is that Mike? I play no effects. In the very beginning, no effects was not good. When my ex-wife and I, Aaron, first started Fat Records, we had no idea what the we were doing, like none. It was me and her in an apartment, in a fax machine, in a closet. I went to school for creative writing. Mike majored in philosophy. Like, we don't, I don't know how to run a record label. It just so happened the first four or five bands I signed were really good. And everybody sold a lot of records. Oh, Fat Mike started a label, Fat Records. How ingenious. It's the only record label that's ever paid me. And that's awesome. That was something more than a yeah, Propagandi talked about me in a song. I don't know, sometimes you don't think too much about something, you know? You're just jamming, making the song. I'm lucky to have these bands on my label. It's kind of silly to say, but like, I learned from reading good riddance lyrics. I just can't even, like, I got goose, look it, goosebumps. I'm not kidding, there's goosebumps. Fat Records is it's more than just a label that's putting out records. It's an ethics. You know, when, when someone says it's not personal, it's business, F you. It's a lifestyle. You know, when I sign a new band, we end up hanging out a lot and drinking a lot and doing a lot of drugs together. It's a family. It's about chosen families. This is our family. Fat Records needs us. Like moms and dads and brothers and sisters. Maybe it was like a family, but to me it appeared more like a mafia. Yeah.